Hey, what's up you guys, it's Ubifire, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to build Razor or to play him. Now, Razor is one of the best 4-star characters in Genshin Impact, my opinion personally. I would even go as far to call him a 4.5-star unit. Now, the reason why I say that he's such a good character is just because of his damage output. One of the best damage outputter in the game. I feel like he gets overlooked or bashed on a lot just because of how he plays. All he literally does is just left click. That is his playstyle. And another reason why he gets bashed on so much is because he is kind of squishy and he doesn't really provide much for the team. But honestly, I think all of that can be overlooked with how much damage he can really provide you, especially if you don't have a character to provide you that damage like as a 5 star. But anyways, enough talking, let's go ahead and get right into the video on how to build Razor, what he pairs up with, all of that and more. Now let's go ahead and take an overlook at what my Razor is like and how he's doing right now. So he has a max attack of 2k. 16k health only let's go ahead and look at the details the critical rate could be a little bit more better but the critical damage is also pretty fine so if i can get the critical rate just a couple more percentage up then my razor would probably be perfectly fine where he is at now the weapon I have for him is the prototype archaic there is another weapon that you do get for free in Dragon Spine Mountain, which I do have a video for that, the weapon is going to be the Snow Tombed Star Silver. Now, I have made a comparison on the Snow Tombed Star Silver and the prototype, prototype Archaic, but the problem was I was using Xin Yan to test it out on. So of course in that video I didn't have my Razor built until now, and I don't plan doing a comparison video on Razor, but in terms of theory and you know just just taking a look at it i'm pretty sure the snow tomb star silver would do great on razor as well the only two weapons that i really really do recommend is the prototype and the snow tomb star silver and if you want to or you're going a different build go ahead and pick up the black cliff or the serpent spine in terms of the artifacts, the artifacts I'm running on my Razor is the Gladiator Finale and the Bloodstained Chivalry for now. Okay, for now. Because if you guys didn't know, 1.5 new artifact set could be good on Razor as well. And I do plan to test that out. But starting from the flower, these are my uh, substats. Really bad. 18% defense. Feels bad. The flower, not too bad. The hourglass is going to be attack percentage. And then for the... What? What? Oh, God. What? I legit thought I had a physical cup on him. This whole time. Now, what you really want is physical damage on Razor. What I had before is a possible path to go with Razor, but ideally, you want to be using physical damage on Razor. And in terms of the helmets, all you have to do is just match it up along with your stats. So, for example, if you have high critical rates already, then you should change the helmet to a critical damage so you could level out those stats if you have high critical damage and low critical rate then you would want a critical rate helmet on razor wait the, why why did i have that cup on him holy crap my stats are insane now wait he's actually going to be doing so much more damage but basically, you want to have as much high physical damage as possible because that's how Razor's kit works. Let's go ahead and take a look at his constellation. If you just take a look at this, I don't think I need to explain his constellation much. Honestly, it's really self-explanatory, but I feel like his main constellation that would really, really boost him is his bite right here. When casting a claw in thunder, which is the press, the opponent's hit will have their defense decreased by 15% for seven seconds. That one, if you're trying to pull for constellation for Razor, this is probably going to be the constellation you want to aim for. 
And in terms of talents, I have him all at level 6. The only reason why this is at level 9 is because I have him at Constellation 3. Now in terms of what talent to level up first, first you want to level up the first one and then his ultimate and then his E. The reason why you want to level up his normal attack and then his ultimate is because Razor is a physical kind of dude. You don't really use his E as much to do damage, although you can do damage, you are mostly going to be basic attacking. In terms of team synergy, I really recommend using Beidou or Shinchu along with Razor and I don't know, maybe a shield, a healer, because once again, Razor is super squishy. I have Zhongli here to shield Razor. As for Beidou, whenever she ultis, she also gives a shield, so that's also really, really nice. And just the extra electro damage output is also awesome. But most importantly, she provides the elemental renaissance. And then Shin Chu is just, oh my gosh, Shin Chu is so goddamn good if you have him you need to build him okay he is so goddamn good and that is for maybe a different video who knows i might or may not do it because there's already a ton of guys out there but if you guys would like to hear my thoughts on him then i will try to do one razor is so easy okay all you gotta do is build up his ultimate and then just That is all you have to do, legit. Razor is really, really simple and really easy to learn. I really recommend you if you are planning to pick him up or any new players who are new to Genshin and who you don't know who to build up, then Razor is definitely a good choice. Razor is one of the most highest DPS in the game in terms of four stars. Razor can deal those DPSs that you need almost comparable to a five star. I say that the only two downsides to him is that he's not really a team player and he has to be on the field in order to utilize him fully. You can't have him as a support because if you do, you're just basically taking up a slot for nothing with Razor. And another thing that I really don't like about him is that he's really squishy. That is why you need some character to either heal like Shin Chu, cause Shin Chu can heal, or Zhongli to provide the shield. For example, you can have, I don't know, maybe Noel to provide the shields, or I really recommend Diona because Diona's shields are really, really crazy strong. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I'm pretty sure 90% of you guys already know how Razor plays or what he does. I mean, the game has literally been out for like, what, six months now? And he is one of the characters that has been out ever since launch so i'm like 90 percent sure that you guys already know how his playstyle is what he does and etc but to those who don't know there you go congratulations you learned something new i really highly recommend you to pick up razor if you guys have him if that's not your playstyle then great just move on to a different character i did also make a poll and a lot of you guys said yes do make character guides and honestly i was not expecting it to be that huge so i will be doing that just please let me know in the comments down below who you would like to see me cover next anyways guys it's been ubi fire and i'll see you guys next time peace